Hey Tom, remember those uh, two devices that I mentioned to you before? I just got them in this afternoon. I tested them this evening and awesome. Here, check this out. Okay, so I'm using the mirror because I wanted to go ahead and make sure I used a good camera. All right, so I've got my Sony set up for recording in 4K and it's actually outputting 4K from the HDMI cable. I'm just connected to the camera right there. And then that is being connected to this device, which I just found on um, B&H, IO Genie, uh, which is a 4K to USB 3 device. And uh, that is actually going into my USB 3 port, which is then going into vMix and being opened up as a 4K input right here. Now with that, I was able to go in and do a zoom, create a couple of virtual inputs and set them up for a quick preview. And I'm actually able to do, in this case, multi-camera switching from just one camera input. So how awesome is that? All right, so if that's awesome, even better than that is the other device I got, which is this, um, Plantronic, that's kind of hard to see from here. Plantronic uh, Callistus 620. It's a you Bluetooth 360 degree speakerphone, which I was able to go ahead and let my laptop, which has Bluetooth, connect to it. And it's as soon as I brought it in as an input into vMix right here. It picked it up as a microphone, and if I shut off the audio in the uh, from the camera, oops, wrong button, uh, audio. You see that I still got input coming in, and that is from this little device right here. So you sit that in front of the table. You've got a uh, you put that in the middle of a room, which is my intention to go ahead and bring it and put it in the middle of this room over here for this particular chamber conference room. So that way I can hear everybody who's talking on the side. Uh, and then also have a, still have a wireless, which I had on my speaker over here, which is going directly into my camera. So that's coming in on the um, 4K capture. So I've got two audio sources to work with. And my entire connection is basically one USB for if you don't have Bluetooth on your laptop it does come with a little Bluetooth uh, connector that you can use but I was able to connect it so talk about some streamlined stuff this is really cool I'm able to do multi-camera switching and the next thing I'm going to try is actually inputting uh, my other um, AV capture or uh, the capture card from uh, the Extreme Cap uh, U3 or 3U, something like that, and see whether I might be able to get the reverse angle for the audience there and give me multiple, multiple camera inputs. So, just thought that was kind of cool. Wanted to share, and we'll catch you later.